In this example, we're working with a few text functions here. The first one I want to talk about, when we look in here, column A, you see how we have extra spaces here. This could be from a data dump, and you got a lot of spaces between Edward and Bloom, William and Pusak here. I'm going to widen this column a little bit. You've got a function called trim, where it gets rid of the extra spaces, and you could go up into the formula and do it. I'm just going to do equal trim. And then I just click inside here, A1, complete the formula. So it says William Pusak. So you got that. This looks good. You got the single spaces here. Next thing here, um, I want to alphabetize this. I need to separate this into columns so that we can sep alphabetize off of last names. We're going to be using text to columns. And if you look over here, I'll widen these columns just a little bit. Um, these are addresses here. If I were to convert these in text to columns, I've done this in another example, it's going to override the data to the right. We don't want to do that. So what I'll do is I'm going to add a few extra columns. There's a lot extra. You can always delete them later on. And I just accidentally deleted. I'll undo, right click, insert. Okay, and it's picking up the width of the other columns, and I'm just going to narrow these down a little bit. I highlight the columns here, and I'll narrow this one down too. So if I want to do the text to columns, I've done this before. or in another lesson here. I go into here. I highlight all the cells here. I click on the word data, and then I click on text to columns. And uh, it's previewing this thing here. This is not going to work because it's showing a formula. So I'm going to cancel this. See, so looking here, it looks like William Pusak. This is not good. What I need to do is to go into here. I'm going to copy this. And if I were to paste this here, it's going to copy the formula. I right click or I click on Paste Special. I choose Values. So I go over here, get rid of the marching ants with the escape key. This is William Pusak, okay? Um, still one space here. And what we have here, I have these columns here. I'll clean this up later. Uh, if I could highlight these cells here, now I do text to columns. I click on text to columns. It's showing things here. It's delimited. We have a separator here. It's only three steps. The separator in here is a space. We look here. I'm going to scroll down. You can see how you go into three columns here. I go to next. And I'm just going to use the general. There's nothing fancy here. General. So I've got these in three columns here. Problem that we have here. We have to have these in three different columns. Um, here, you can't have that. You could cut these or drag these over to the right here. Or if you have a long one, you could just sort this out. If you're going to sort, and I do the sort here, it's not going to include the streets here, so I'm going to delete these two columns. Delete. And what makes this much easier to do, to clean this up, especially when you have hundreds, I'm going to click inside here. If I, if I alphabetize this column, I'm going to have a B thing. That's the last name here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click inside here. I want to see what happens. I'll go to the Home tab, and I'm going to say Sort and Filter. I'm going to say A to Z. That works, okay? So what it is here, I just highlight these, cut, paste over here. So now we've got a sortable list here. And if you want